Welcome back. Let's get my next guest out. He is one of our most popular actors. He's also a Hollywood superstar. It is the fabulous Ray Winstone, ladies and gentlemen. Come on out, Ray. You've got to remember that. How are you? Looking great. I'm feeling great. Yeah, I feel, feel good. good. Yeah. Uh, how was uh, how was Christmas in the Winston House this year? As John was saying, it's the same kind of thing. I think all the country over. It certainly is for where I come from. Anyway, you know, you start off with the greatest intentions in the world, of having a great day. You know, you cook the turkey. I got had a bit of goose this year as well. Wow, which was nice. And you say you're not going to drink too much, and you know, you watch the Queen's speech and all that kind of stuff, and then then the row starts. <laughs> and that's basically it, you know, and, you'd, <laughs> and the next morning I get up with an hangover and I cook a stew with a turkey that's left wow. over, and we eat that, Are you the and chef we have another you're, round. You're, yeah. the you're the cook at home, as well as, and, and no, who starts No, not really, no, my, my wife's a really good cook, I'm quite lucky. But um, I guess it's one of the manly things where you think, I cook the roast beef on a Sunday, mm -hmm. you know, and we have a gravy off, you know. She don't like my gravy and I don't like hers. Mm. And, and the kids have to vote on whose gravy they like. Oh, that's no, no pressure there for them. No, no, no pressure at all for them, but if, it's usually mine. Because uh, otherwise they don't get looked after the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I cook the meat sometimes. But Elaine's a great cook. You know, I'm pretty I, lucky. I, even though there's a real Santa, sometimes occasionally I dressed up as Santa for my kids. Not yeah. Did you do that? I imagine you make a pretty good Santa. Absolutely, all the time, yeah. My, it's funny because my little girl, when you know she's 12 now, but when she was a bit younger, used to say, "Dad, you're never here when he comes." <laughs> and I think that's kind of how she put two and two together. I used to put, obviously, because I was a little bit slimmer, and I put the pillar down, the costume, and and dress up and do all the ho 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 well, ho. So what's your oh, look? I've got here. I don't know if you feel like giving this. I've got here the traditional Santa beard and hat. Yeah. And I wonder whether we could have a bit of Ray's Santa. Oh, stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, the way around. Right there, yeah. Mm. Okay, there's your hat. Yeah. This is pretty good. This is mm. pretty good. Mm. This is what Santa Come would be like. Come on, sit on my knee, John. Oh, I don't know whether... <laughs> do you really... Do you think your knee can bear this? Yeah, I, you know, get on here. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Get on here, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sam. I've been... I've been... stick my hand up your arse, don't <laughs> <at> the work <laughs> there, Hold on. Hold on. Fucking hell, you hear me? Did you eat all the turkey? I think this must be the most disturbing thing you've seen on Christmas. Yeah. 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 Hello, right. Santa. What do you want for Christmas, son? Um, well, I've got a lot. Yeah. Uh, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like, I'd like a scorpion. Yeah. And I'd like everyone to be happy. That's a very nice, nice thing, but I'm afraid the world don't work that way. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I like this Santa. There is. This is the reality Santa. I, right? I don't know if I want the now, reality. Now, you've been a bit of a ponce all year. No. <laughs> Santa, I'm good. <laughs> so you ain't getting nothing this year. Oh, Santa. And if you still keep being nasty to people on your show, oh, Santa. you won't get anything next year. <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, oh, oh I can't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, wow. Wow, well, I imagine the kids must bring their friends round for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me ask you about this new thing on Sky. There's a new show, and I watched it the other day. I had a preview copy of it. Yeah. And it's based on a book, which has kind of fallen out of fashion. When I was a kid, a lot of boys read it. It was very popular in my school. It's called Moonfleet. Yeah. And it's one of those great boys' adventure stories of that time. Girls, of course, would love it as well, but it was sort of seen as boys' adventures when I was growing up. Yeah. Set in the world of smuggling. Yeah. Uh, then. Uh, it's a great story. And you play a character called Elsevier Block. Absolutely. That's yeah. a name to remember, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, tell us about the story. What goes on in it? Well, for me, it's like all these great stories of that period, you know, like great expectations and that. And it's, it's it, it, although it's about smugglers and it's about what was going on in the 1700s, late 1700s, it's like great expectations in a way. It's, it's a story about a young boy's life growing up to become a man. Okay, well, let's have a look at a clip of Moonfleet. This is on Sky One. Uh, the second part is on tomorrow at 8 pm. Have a look at this. And as you said, the whole family can watch it. Absolutely, yeah. That's a nice thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you've been working, and this is exciting. I didn't know you were in this film. I knew they were making this movie. I didn't know who was in it. Yeah. But there's a big budget film based on the biblical tale of Noah. 
Yeah. Coming out over here sometime March, I think March 28th, uh, you're working with Russell Crowe on this. Yeah. Now yeah. tell me about this movie, because this is different to the stories I remember. It was quite weird, actually, because um, I got a phone call, and they said, um, uh, Ray, would you like to be in Noah, Noah, the film Noah? I said, what's it about? And they said, it's <laughs> Noah's Ark. <laughs> well, you don't expect, I don't expect to be asked to be in a biblical thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I said, oh, Noah's Ark. And uh, I've got the giggles a little bit, you know. <laughs> and they, I said, well, my, and they said, well, Russell Crowe's going to play Noah. And I, and I laughed again. <laughs> I said, like, well, he's a big tough kid, isn't he? You know what I mean? And I, I couldn't really see that. But he's a great actor, and I've never seen him bad in anything, you no, know. No. So they, I said, what am I going to play? And they said, Tubal Cain. I went, really? And I started laughing again. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and then they said, um, Tubal Cain. Tubal Cain, I called him Two Balls Cain. But anyway, <laughs> it's, and then they say, Darren Aronofsky is going to direct it. And I went, oh, hold on. Yeah. Right, OK. Let's have a look. This is a clip which you probably haven't seen. You haven't seen any no, of this? No, OK, this is a trailer number. for now. I think it's the first time it's been shown on okay. TV. Uh, it's out March 28th, and it looks pretty good. I'll tell you, have a look at this. That looks good. That looks big. Big in style and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's good, well, it is. It's, it's, it, you got the feeling when he was making it, it was pretty epic. Um, I remember fly, flying, we, we shot the Ark really in, um, in Long, Long Island, just outside of New York. And when you flew, flew in the airport sometimes, when you was going over there, you flew over the Ark. I mean, it's massive. So they actually oh, built the big... Massive, yeah. Normally it's like a part of it, they build no. like one wall, don't no, they? It was the actual working thing. I mean, you had animals in there that um, were unbelievable, these robotic kind of animals who breathed and moved. So and animatro so animatronics, may yeah, that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> and there were... So the, which animals did they have models of? Which ones were you Everything you can think of. Wow. From spiders, which was... Not know. a fan. Now, oh, listen, I... I think they're the most beautiful creature you can ever see, but I, I was bitten by one in the, in the outback. Really? In Australia. It was a redback. And I was picking up a chair, and it got me there. And my hand really sh swelled up like that. And uh, I went to the, the outback doctor, and he said, yeah, mate, he said, you've been bitten by a redback. I went, ugh. And there's a red line going up me, and I said, you're going to give me the serum? And he went, nah, mate, he said, the serum will kill you. And I said, uh, right, so what do we do then? He said, well, we let the red line go up there, and if it gets past a certain point, I'm going to give you the serum. I said, you just said it'd kill me. And he said, yeah. And that's their humour. <laughs> you know? I've, never, I've never been to a country like us, the only country in the world where everything tries to eat you. <laughs> it does. We flew into a place called Black Rock, and there was a snake on the runway. I think it was a brown snake, I think they call it. And it was trying to eat the plane. <laughs> uh, Wayne, well, it's great to have you here. It's great to have you show. Happy New Year to you oh, and your listen, family. Oh, listen, listen, have a great New Year. We've had Christmas, so Brilliant, have a great New Year. Year. Ray Winston, ladies and gentlemen. Brilliant Lovely. stuff. Thank, Thank you, man. You. It was great. So after the break, I'll be joined by Jamie Oliver and Jimmy Duffy, and we've got music from Rizzlecare. That's great.